what's the deal world? This is Pac FM representing Q and 5, Extended Fam and the Play. We chilling with G4 TV and Freestyle 101. I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to go in the booth. I'm about to lay it down. And I'm about to show y'all why I hate rappers, all right? One. Yeah. Check it out. One, one, two, yo. Listen, yo, yo. Check me, yo. Listen, I'm coming out of nowhere and I don't know where to start Just add a star to the flag, this is state of the art You keep playing the role and you'll be playing a harp I pack a fan forever, shine like I'm afraid of the dark Listen, the record is here, I boom of the year I'm critically acclaimed and I got respect to my peers Some people like pack a fan, but such a breath of fresh air Next thing you know, they're trying to dust his best, dose up their gear I kick the flows that's tighter than the wrestler's gear To get the hoes butt naked with their legs in the air And I ain't cheap with these freaks, dog a minute after I Eat in their mouth, I'll buy them dinner cause my kids gotta eat I done ripped every verse that I ever spit Now you got the nerve to come out your face and say I ain't the cleverest On the list I should be high as Everest Now I'm fucked up in the head, my therapist is a terrorist Who here wanna test the kid? We know the outcome Your LP coulda outsell my photo album Crush my foes to talc em. People tell their girls about the plague And now when we in town she goes to shows without her, my doubter The heat of factory can have a rap to me I go to Rhapsody and leave the booth to Rhapsody Catastrophe, these bastards keep on bashing me Psych, you can't handle what I'm peddling and have a seat, you're too tired just like the bike People say that we're obnoxious And none of them can stop us They have scratches, DJs, Wazel beats boxes We underground cheap rockers You ain't an animal, you pussy When you go down on your girl, then you a cannibal Pack it from Freestyle 101 The best rapper in the earth right under the sun Put the pressure on myself right now, I'll be under the gun Yo, you listening to the man I call my mother's son Name is Pack the Fem Yo, I'm Brooklyn chain flashy Knuckle game is tight, that's why my hands stay ashy These cats can't pass me, looking at my rap sheet, niggas know my style up the top is mad nasty, we do it like that y'all, you know I like to attack dudes, yo, and I ain't nothing like you rap dudes, you catch this food, yo, I call you like Alpo, I do it like that, yo, I'm gonna go out to the show, niggas know it, yo, I'm be a poet, yo, you can't mess around, so you better go get, yo, whole crew, if you wanna battle this, it's packing for my frogs, it's dope, set it off like a catalyst, we gonna do it again, you and your friends, yo, mess with me, I freaking ruin in your pen, it doesn't matter though. We do it like that, you can't see me. Just turn the dial to 101 G4 TV. I'm out here. I was born in Brooklyn, New York, born and raised, lived there all my life, gonna live there forever. You know what I'm saying? Brooklyn's the greatest place on earth, no place like it. I grew up probably two blocks away from the projects. But I wasn't a project kid, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't around a bunch of ignorant people. I was around people, like the kids on my block, we were more interested in riding our bikes and playing with the radio controlled cars, you know what I'm saying, than getting out there and living the street life, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't like influenced by hip hop in that way. I was more influenced by the kids who would come down and do graffiti on my block, you know what I'm saying, things like that. And then coming home, watching videos after school and, and seeing like music videos like, like Salt and Pepper and G-rapping, like all the old school videos that would come on back then, Slick Rick and all that, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how I was more influenced just musically as opposed to living in that sort of an environment, you know what I'm saying? The scene really started more like in uh, this place called 88 Hip Hop. It was a website uh, online, it was like really cutting edge back then, like it was streaming video and what happened was a lot of cats would come up there and we would have battles every week. Not only would they interview artists, like that's where I met like Eminem, I met Big Pun, I met Nas, you know what I'm saying? I battled every week, you know what I'm saying, they would have a battle tournament, and um, Breeze Ever Flowing, Sea Rays Walls, Poison Pen, Thirst to Howl, Words Worth, AL Skills, like that's where we all came to test each other out, you know what I'm saying, so that's where the real scene started, and it was like a really big nucleus in the New York hip hop scene, you know what I'm saying, so it's where I got my name out, outside of Brooklyn, while staying in New York, you know what I'm saying, like so I'm over there, I'd be up there battling kids every week, and there are people in freaking Iowa, who are watching it online, saying, all right, fine, I know who this kid Pac-FM is, you know what I'm saying? So I, we had an advantage with that sort of an outlet, you know? The scene where, where kids would find themselves and, and, and congregate to find good music, things like that, as far as record stores, was more like, Fat Beats was probably the biggest and most popular one, because you would always have cats there, they would go buy the records, the vinyl, and everything like that, and then downstairs, outside, people would get together and they would actually have ciphers and get together and just start rhyming. Um, another store was Bobito's Footwork, 
his store was really good for that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of cats would out, not only did they go there, but they actually worked there as well, you know what I'm saying? As with Fappy's, like a lot of up and coming rappers actually started working at Fappy's. Like I remember Breeze from the Juggernauts used to work there, you know, and you would go there and you could really interact with the up and coming artists at the time, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of those stores have died down, Fappy still remains. Um, another store was uh, Beach Street in Brooklyn where you would go in there and they would have a lot of events where the up and coming rappers and they would hold showcases for artists, you know? And even Fat Beats used to have battles. They would, uh, with Rocksteady, they used to hold the preliminary for their battles in Fat Beats. So it was just like a big event where cats would come and they would be packed wall to wall and right in front of the DJ booth, you would just have two heads going at it and the, the whole tournament would start right there, you know what I'm saying? And like, it was like a who's who event. You know, so like all those stores were definitely um, pivotal as far as taking the scene forward and it's just a shame that they don't exist anymore because now the, the kids who are coming up don't have that sort of an outlet and they don't have any direction, you know what I'm saying? Now they just know, alright fine, I want to rap, but they don't know what to do. They just know, alright, I want to rap so I'm going to make songs, but they don't know how to keep the culture alive and, and just let things thrive on that type of thing. So those stores were very important, it's just too bad they're not around.